Good morning from Heide Park Resorts in Germany where it's time for our day two vlog here from the park. We've got the tunes pumping this morning there. We've got so much to cover in this vlog that we didn't cover in our day one vlog and be sure to check that out if you haven't already seen it. We've got Peppa Pig Land, How to Train Your Dragon themed area, we've got the other monorail, we've got the train, we've got the log flume, we've got the rapids. So much. so much going on, we've even got a couple more coasters to ride and yeah I'm loving how the music's pumping. We're coming in through the hotel entrance this morning and if you haven't already make sure you check out the day one vlog from the park and yesterday's video which was a full tour of the adventure hotel and yeah it has got its own exclusive entrance into the park and we're making most of that this morning which aren't we? Which is nice we're going to go in and make most of our day. Now also I just wanted to get in this song in the background you might recognize the tune from Alton Towers uh, back in the day it used to play at the hotels for the magic makers and yeah it's the same tune um, but they've changed the words to different lyrics in German like what a throwback like literally from like 20 years ago at Alton Towers amazing um, yeah, we're going to make our way into the park. Lots coming up. So come and join us here at Hyder Park. So the tune in the background used to go a bit like this with the lyrics. Having some fun down here at Alton Towers. Uh, how fun is that? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously Merlin Owen Park and yeah, I love that. Fantastic, what a throwback. But yeah, here's all the hotel off to the left and the entrance is just over here. If you're wondering what the main entrance of the park looks like, check out yesterday's vlog because we went in through there yesterday. Now park hours today are actually one hour later with it being a weekend. The park's open from 10 a.m. through until 7 p.m. but the rides close at 6 o'clock. There you go. So it's basically the same as yesterday uh, but with that extra hour and uh, yeah they still close an hour earlier than the park does if that makes sense. I'm not too sure why they do that because there's literally a couple of food units open in the shop until seven o'clock but yeah they may as well just say that it closes at that time really haven't they at six but yeah, still it. yeah we've got an extra hour today sun's shining and we've got lots of attractions to get in now as much as there's no early ride time if you're staying in the on-site hotel there is a bonus to stay in there because they actually let you into the park about 15 20 minutes before the main gates open and they let everybody else into the other areas so you can come and actually get into the queue for your first ride yeah, which is really good you're not getting held anyway you just come straight into the park yeah and obviously people at the main entrance get held there we go everyone's just running down now oh, and yeah. we're like in we're position ready. there we go ready for our ride on colossus yeah we thought we'll have a ride on this to start off and then we're going to get on some stuff we didn't do yesterday. Oh, fantastic way to start the day with a front row ride on Colossus. It's a brilliant wooden coaster. And yeah, the front row is where it's at because it really just pushes you up into the hills. Fantastic ride. Yeah, I thought we're going to have to start the day with another ride on this beauty. There's uh, Desert Race in the background. Hey. <laughs> yeah, much busier today. It is running two trains as well, which is fantastic to see. Riding lovely, but it was a bit wet because the train had been left up, so my mum's so. Oh, yeah, it's not got a maintenance shed, so the train is just outside. And it threw it down last night. Absolutely chucking it down. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm pleased the weather's better today. It was good. Should we go and get on some bits we haven't done then so far? Let's do it. Up next then we're going for a ride on Grotten Blitz and I love this area around here. That's the monorail station, beautiful buildings, awesome rock work, very cute around here. It very much gives me Europa Park vibes and yeah there's the station for it just over there. So cute around here, there's just so many little details to look at. It's very nice, so yeah this is a Mac Rides power coaster that's operated since 1985. Like we said in the day one vlog, On Ride Filming is limited but there's quite a few bits we will be able to film on today. Um, um, but yeah, obviously we can't on the coasters. But yeah, here's a bit of off-ride footage of Gross and Blitz in action. Yeah, it's very nice around here. Love the station building to this ride as well. Let's go and ride. Well, Charlotte went straight back round again and has had four laps round on that. I've been round <laughs> four times. I actually really enjoyed that. It's just a shame that the theming inside the tunnel is just dark so you can't see it. Yeah, you can tell it probably used to be better themed in there. Kind of like the diamond mine probably at uh, Europa Park. In fact, the track layout is almost identical um, to Alpen Express that can be found at Europa Park. And yeah, it's a really nice power coaster. I do like my power I rides from Mac. I love power coaster. Yeah, they're just really good fun family coasters. And yeah, really well themed with the station and also around the exterior. Just it's a shame it's not as good on the inside. 
These buildings are gorgeous. The wooden balconies, the water wheel. It's so nice. I do like the older parts of this park the best. And here you can see down here, a bit of theme clash going on. How to Train Your Dragon, the little boat ride, actually comes through the bottom section. I think, in fact, that's why uh, the theming in there is quite dark at the top because it's got scenery for how to train your dragon and this beautiful building, which doesn't really make sense. Don't get me wrong, I love that movie and we'll go on this boat ride. I think it's broken at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's just interesting with the theme clash going on. But in general, this area is gorgeous. That's the monorail station building, which is really nice. And this has got to be my favorite sign in the whole park. How nice is this with Hyder Park on there, mountain rafting entrance. You know what that means, Charlotte? You escaped them yesterday. It's time for a water ride. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, very nice sign though, isn't it? Be beautiful around here. And yeah, all the rock work, which is very nice. Oh, I just love it. Yeah, it's actually a double-sided sign as well, which is great. There you go. So it has it in English one side, German the other side. And here you get a great view. So there's Craig over in the distance, Scream, the other coasters. And yeah, it's kind of the how to train your dragon area in the middle just here, which is interesting. There's that monorail station. And this is actually a really good rapids. It's very well themed. How complex does that look? I don't think I've ever seen it from this angle. Blimey, look at all the transfer tracks and different monorails down there. It obviously used to run four. I think it's probably just on one today, going around somewhere. But yeah, look at all that, how complex, yeah, crazy. Going on. Yeah, very nice area around here, I love it. We've got some more views just over here, looking down at the ride itself, I believe. All the lovely trees around, that's the thing for me. I like the theming and immersion of this park in certain areas. How nice is this? Looking down there at the rapids, it's got a big queue line, this one, all the way around. It's not full though, luckily. How pretty is this with the building at the back, the rapids trough, all the water effects. It reminds me so much of Europa Park around in this area. Tunnel just over there, fantastic. Oh, there's some big waves coming over. We've got effects going on down there. Look at all the boats just lined up. Now, this is great around there. I mean, this just puts Congo River Rapids to shame back at Alton Towers. Big waterfalls on over there, all the theming. And look at this for a set of waterfalls. There we go. You've got the big one over there. And look at that. Absolutely awesome. There is no escaping those. The boat goes right through the middle. Fantastic. We're at Merlin Park. Waterfalls are on like that. Amazing. Here we go then, walk straight on into Shaft 73, mountain rafting, and the boats are absolutely soaked on those. <laughs> hey. In through the tunnel. Looks like there maybe used to be more theming in there and it's been blocked up. <laughs> oh, there's some waves already, Charlotte. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> oh, blimey. Straight in. Hey. Congo River Rapids. <laughs> it's constant. Oh, literally. Con Imagine if Congo was like this. I'm so Mountain rafting. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. At least a nice sunny day for you. Oh, that was a good footage. It was constant. It was like wave, wave, wave. You got the machines on down there. Oh god, I love it. Gorgeous day. Look at all the boats on here. The turntable was spinning mega fast as well. Oh, this has not been toned down in any way. This is oh, running on god. full I'm force. This, Sean, coming up. What? All these waves. <laughs> and I'm heading straight for them. And the lovely yellow fisherman. Oh, no, it's you, it's you. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, this could be me now. It could be. Oh, I don't like the look of this one. This could, this is my moment. Oh! Thank you. Look at this for a waterfall. Oh! <laughs> this is it, please remain seated. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> great rapids this. If only Congo was this good, honestly. <laughs> That's the same company, you wouldn't think it, but uh, it's amazing. Yeah, I do like how you got all the buildings around. Obviously this wasn't a Merlin built rapids. I think you're getting the gist of it now. Like the really pretty, like really heavily themed parts of the park are all really the older bits. I say that, we've got to thank Merlin for putting in some great investments like Crake's a good dive coaster, Flunked and Amon in the wing coaster. Won't say the same about Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, it was. Of course, check out that day one vlog. We had a nice POV from Ghostbusters. 
We got on the monorail shortly as well. We can film on there. We've got the train we can take you on. Charlotte's going on some weird spinning, flying flat ride in How to Train Your Dragon. It, into the main waterfalls. Look at this. It reminds me of the days when you used to be able to film on the rapids and towers. Oh, oh my God. Ah! <laughs> it comes right in. These are vicious. Look at these. Wow. <laughs> oh, so good. That's it. Oh, that's a great rapid. Fantastic. Look at this. Like, actually, so, but not like dripping wet through. Yeah, just, just a nice amount. It keeps on going. Oh! I thought that was the end then. It's not. Wave machine. Yeah, hoods down, hoods down. Wave machines. Like three minutes in and we're still going. Oh! Everything's working as it should be. <laughs> Very close to the boats here. There we go. Oh, what a great ride. I think it's just going to be a slow kind of peter out now. It's a bit concerning though for people standing up. Look at all them stickers on the bridge there. Clearly people that have stood up and slapped a sticker on. That's crazy. Please remain seated coming on these water rides. Don't like the look at these waves, Charlotte. No. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, just a slow petering out to the end, I think. What a fantastic ride. I knew it was a good one, but I'd forgotten just how good and how long that ride is. Oh! That's the thing with these, you always want to be bracing yourself because sometimes, you know, you can get back into the rocks or a log. That's why I hold on like this. Hold on tight, yeah, with these handlebars that we can see. And that's it, four minutes. Like, what a brilliant ride, oh, that. I'm soaked. <laughs> yeah, it was good fun though, that was. I enjoyed it, very well themed. Well, mountain rafting was absolutely excellent. It's a really long ride, it's well themed, and all the effects on there, amazing ride. I am absolutely <laughs> soaked. <laughs> Great fun though, didn't you enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, it was. It was quite good fun. Lots of effects. You're going round, you're always on edge. You don't know if it's the waterfall, the wave machines, a big blast of water. Yeah, what's going to get in. Yeah, it's great. And I love the area around here. One of the best rappers I've ever done that is, yeah, I it's think. it's really good. And it's crazy to think that, you know, Congo back at Alton Towers, owned by the same company. Everything's just been turned off and not much action. The waterfalls were supposed to be coming back. We don't know. Here, it's running at full force. It makes me sad, really, because it makes me remember how good Congo used to be when it you go used on that. To be so good. It used to be just as good it rivaled it but yeah that was amazing really enjoyed that in the lovely sunshine as well into the building next door then now for a ride on the lovely monorail in fact it's just come in and we'll take you on for a pov on here gorgeous i love monorails and i love ones that play high school music too <laughs> really nice that was sorry let's go herzlich willkommen in unserer monorailbahn zu einer tour durch unsere große abenteuerwelt Oh, we've got a cow just over there. Nice seat. In Fahrtrichtung links seht ihr unseren Themenbereich Drachen zähmen die Insel. Dort könnt ihr in die Fabelhafte Welt von where Grotten Blitz goes through as well. There it goes. Yeah, so it's not quite the diamond mine from Europa Park in here. It looks like it used to have a lot more theme in. It's, it's not really lit up in the middle. There's a great just over there and an awesome view of Colossus from above. Colossus, Kampf der Giganten. There we go, that's how you say it in German. Nicht nur das Herzstück des Parks, sondern mit 1,5 Kilometern Bahnlänge, 60 Metern Höhe und einer Höchstgeschwindigkeit von 110 km/h. Auch die höchste und schnellste Rundachterbahn Europas. Die Fahrzeit beträgt stolze zweieinhalb Minuten. Insgesamt wurden We went on them slides in the day one vlog as well, so check it out if you haven't already seen it. It was good fun. 80.000 Kilogramm Schrauben und Dübel, 12 Kilometer Stromkabel und 750 Wusstet ihr eigentlich, so this area of the park on the right is home to a few flat rides. It used to have loads down there, but now it's just got a few. In fact, we'll see a better view of that from here. 
There you can see you've got a magic down there. There's a breakdown. Wave swinger in the middle. But down the back, you used to have a few other attractions as well. From down on ground level, you can't really see. But yeah, from up here, you can. And it's kind of just been left abandoned down there at the back. They've like put these fences in so you can't really see that there used to be flats there. All the times I've been to this park, I've never seen a show here and there's never been anything on on that stage. So I don't know if they use it anymore or maybe it's just at certain times of the year. <laughs> Moped. It's a beautiful park though, I definitely recommend a visit. And we mentioned this in the day one, but I'll mention it again. If you have got a million annual pass in the UK, you do get 50% off admission if you want to come to here and also Gardaland as well in Italy, which is another Merlin owned park. So yeah, it's definitely worth it to come and see what these parks are like. Up here, wird es ein kleines bisschen gruselig, denn wir sind in Transylvanien angekommen. In far Richtung rechts wird aus unserer Hängen Toxic Garden over there, the SLC. How are they getting on with the painting? Diese fährt ab Mai mit über 80 Fair play, they've actually updated the audio on the monorail. Kopfüber durch den zerstörten botanischen Garten. Gleich daneben steht unser Klassiker Big Lou, ein richtiger Oldtimer unter den Loopingbahnen. Bei seiner Eröffnung im Jahr 1983 war Big Lou die größte Loopingbahn Europas und mit einem doppelten Korkenzieher und zwei. Very close to the track, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Wer von euch heute besonders hoch hinaus will und zudem einen fantastischen Blick über das gesamte Resort und die Lüneburger Heide haben möchte, wagt sich auf unseren Screen, einem der größten Girodoc Tower der Welt. Auch wenn der Ausblick des 103 Meter hohen Freifallturmes nicht Beautiful. You can also see from up here how they used to have a boat on a track very similar to the lights of the Mark Twain at the Disney parks. How that runs on a track. Yeah, you can actually still see it in the water. That obviously used to be the station for it. And yeah, it used to come around the lake just here. Fliegt ihr mit acht Flugmanövern fünfmal über Kopf. Die Züge gleiten mit nichts über. Oh, Craig looks so good on rides. And he rides great as well. An Hindernissen vorbei und rauben euch jegliche Ohren. Enjoy your monorail ride. This is what I miss back home, like more filler rides like this. Yeah, just relaxing and taking it all in, away from the big coasters. Yeah, we've got the Wild West area to see over there as well. That's home to our final coaster for us to ride here. Abenteuer Hotel am Horizont. Yeah, they got two monorails. We went on the other one in the day one, so check that out if you haven't seen it already. Deutschlands einziger Dive Coaster. Die Fahrzeit beträgt zwar nur eine Minute, die hat es dafür aber mehr als in sich. Qualvolle Sekunden blickt ihr panisch hinunter in den Schlund des Kraken. And there's a better look at the station where the observation tower used to be. And yeah, again, they've kind of left it all there and there's ripped the tower out of the middle. Aber keine Sorge. And here's the old west, Lucky Lands. Nur die Kinder Achterbahn in die Blitz. Und wenn es irgendwo dampft, dann ist das entweder frisch gebrühter Kaffee oder Let's look at Indie Blitz. und super knusprigen Churros aus unserem Lucky Churros Shop. And just down below, aus dem besten Regenland habt ihr einen tollen Blick in unsere Cowboy-Stadt. Schaut mal. The big land here is much better than the one at Gardaland, but still not as good as the one at Poulton's Park back home. Oh my god, it's Pepper's house! <laughs> We've got the log flume just over here to go on shortly as well. Sitzt da jemand? Bitte lächeln und alle mal winken. 
We'll do the rat fry, that one looks like it's sinking. Die Panorama Bahn präsentiert euch einen anderen Teil des wunderschönen Heidepark Resorts. Der Eingang zur Panorama Bahn ist in der Bucht der Piraten. A lot of history at this park, 1981. Die Show wurde fünf Jahre in Folge zu Europas bester Freizeitparkshow gewählt. Das dürft ihr heute also auf keinen Fall verpassen. Die Showzeiten findet ihr in unserer Heidepark. Another area just over there where there used to be something and it's just being left. I think that's the problem. They need to, the park is gorgeous and they've just got a few areas where things are being left. Oh dear. <laughs> Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> I like the audio. Ultimativen Geisterjagd bei unserem Indoor Ride Ghostbusters 15, einem interaktiven Abenteuer der fünften Dimension, werdet ihr zu den Geisterjägern. Also, schnappt euch eure Lenkung. Well, that brings us to the end of our monorail ride. That was really nice, wasn't it? I really enjoyed that. I like how you can stop at other stations and you get to go the full route round. Yes, it's a big grand circle tour of Hyder Park. And up next, Charlotte's going on this flat ride, aren't you? I'm going to give it a go because I do like this. I'm going to stay off and I'm going to film Charlotte on it. It's like flying round in a circle. Here we go then, Charlotte's all loaded up just here. You're nice and comfy there. Not really, though. Yeah, that's why I didn't bother coming on. I thought I'll stay off and I'll film you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, what's going to happen is Charlotte's going to get her back strapped up. Basically, this exactly the same as Hero from Ingo Land, but the, the flat ride form. Yeah, <laughs> instead of it being a roller coaster, we have the same um, type of restraints and everything, literally. But this is a bit more comfortable because at least you're not going through inversions. Here she comes. Charlotte is officially a dragon. <laughs> <Whee>. <laughs> Spinning round over Hyder Park. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, it might not be an amazing, impressive flat ride, but it's still a permanent ride instead of funfair rides. You know, it's nice. That's the thing here, everything, you know, is themed in still to the park, which is good to see. And also in this area of the park, you've got this spinning flat ride over here, very colourful. Like how it squirts water up just there. <laughs> and they've actually got a smaller version off to the right as well and the boat ride which we'll head on to in just a moment over there and we'll take you on with the pov yeah i do like how to train your dragon it's a great dreamworks movie and i really like the music to it as well this is really good fun how was your ride on there then charlotte it was a little bit uncomfortable to be honest it's just because i was lying down for so long it's basically a hero in flat ride form that yeah, is i mean it rides quite well but it's a bit uncomfortable you've also got something you want to share with the viewers haven't you today viewers, you may be wondering charlotte why does your hair look such a mess <laughs> I actually lost my hair brush on day one. Oh. I looked everywhere. I went to guest services to try and find it. And I couldn't find it. I can't find a brush in the park, so I can't brush my hair until I'm back in the UK. Oh, oh big wasp was going past oh, no. it then. Massive. Oh no. Let's go and have a ride on this boat ride for How to Train Your Dragon. Walk straight on. Yeah, considering it's a Saturday, it's really not that much busier to be honest. But they have got a lot of rides at this park. They've got a lot of capacity here, which is great. Lovely boats on this. That was Charlotte a few minutes ago, just flying round. <laughs> hey, fire effects in the middle. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Wir sollten uns von Erma besser fernhalten. Sie lässt keinen zu nah an ihre Babys aus. Das sieht gar nicht gut aus. Smoky. Oh oh, Mama. Ich sorge mal für etwas Licht. So, jeder bleibt auf seinem Platz und hält die Augen offen. In dieser Dunkelheit kann alles Mögliche herumkriechen. Okay. 
<laughs> Look at the little houses there. There we go, back outside into the station. It's only quite short that, but it's a good filler ride. It's a good little boat ride, I enjoyed that and I just like how much variety there is in this park. I think it was quite nice, I really liked the effect when the smoke came across as you went through the tunnel because you couldn't see anything, I thought that was a really good effect. A little bit on the short side, but yeah, quite a lot to see it's inside the dock ride right, too. Yeah, that's the thing, and when you're walking on something, like, you don't mind, you do don't you really? Mind at all. We've still got loads of new things to see this afternoon, but we're going to go and have some lunch, aren't we yeah, now? Yeah, a little bit hungry. Yeah, yesterday we managed to get a milk and muffin from this big restaurant, and when we went in we saw loads of other food in there, which looked really nice, I'm didn't it? some pasta I think. Yeah so we're gonna go and check that out. Love all these cute little areas just like the maps down there, the wishing well, everything's beautifully themed and yeah here's the huge restaurant it's just opposite Craig actually the worst house it's called. Looks like we've hit this at the perfect time in here before it gets too busy but you go and grab what you want and then just pay at the end there they've got a big selection and yeah you get it on a nice plate knife and fork in here as well which oh, is good. I went for the pasta bar there, so do check the potatoes as well. Hey, yeah, it was like nine euros for that. Not so. bad at all. Yeah, there you go, it's nice. <laughs> Some more lovely food there. It was very nice. We've ate really well at this park, haven't we? Lots of variety yeah, as well. I enjoyed that. Fantastic. And yeah, here's a look at the Mac Ride Splash Battle just down here. Very similar to Battle Galleons at Alton Towers. Yeah, look at the boats just down there. Maybe a bit of a zoom in. Much like Battle Galleons, hardly anybody rides it, <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty. I'd say this looks nice around here, mainly because it's not in a normal lake. It's actually got the filtered lake down here, which looks fantastic. Yeah, you've got the pirate ship, which is actually the station for this one over here. But yeah, it's very nice, that is. Lovely sunny day today. Gorgeous park. Down here now into Lucky Land, which is a small little Wild West area. It's also home to the family roller coaster that they've got here, known as Indie Blitz. So we're going to go and give this a go now. Here it comes. Some off ride footage there of the little Zero Force Indie Blitz here at this park. And yeah, it's actually the only junior coaster they've got here at Hyder Park. Maybe that's something else they could do with it. I mean, they've got a lot of bigger rides, but yeah, another junior coaster. Uh, something maybe mid range, like 13, would be good at this park, I think. Yeah, that would be good. Some more family fun. Yeah, definitely. You've got this big wheel over here, which is pretty nice. You actually sit in a barrel there. And we're actually going to wait here for the train now. Oh, I think it's coming actually. There we go. I can hear it. Station Lucky Lands. Yeah, we're going to do a full tour around on the Hyder Park Express now and we'll take you along for a POV. That was good timing. And here we are leaving behind the old Wild West for a tour around Hyder Park. Another stop by Craig, the dive coaster. It's going nice and fast, this does. So many lovely flowers in this park. Started off this morning, hotel entrance.
Nice little boat ride down here. We went on there in the day one vlog. So make sure you check it out. We also had a fantastic visit to Hunter Park this trip. So make sure you give that a watch as well. Another great park not too far away. We've actually added a park to the trip. We'll talk more about that later on. Somewhere we're going tomorrow. Bonus park. Yeah, and this is a part of the park we've not covered at all yet. And we'll have a stroll around here this afternoon on the nice relaxing raft ride. And some classic vintage cars over here as well. Really gives me Europa Park vibes around here. Oh, that tree is gorgeous. Yeah, the landscaping department do a really good job here. Old timer. Yeah, there's another station by the entrance here to the park. That's the main entrance to the park. Hello. Get on the log flume shortly as well. We're just about to pass by it. We've got a lot of water in this bar, which makes it look really picturesque. We started in Lucky Land. So lucky. Lucky to do what we do. Watch out, Charlotte, you got a bear to stay. She's friendly, it's all right. I enjoyed the train just there, it was a nice ride, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was quite nice going around the park. It was, yeah, enjoyed about a 15 minute full circuit and then you've actually got three stations all the way around there. We had a nice little bear. Also, that leads us on to what we're gonna be doing now tomorrow instead of going to the dungeon. We're going to Serengeti Park. Yeah, like it's not too far away from here, about 30 minutes. They've got a couple of coasters, lots of flats, lots of animals there as yeah, well. Yeah, we're gonna drive through in somebody else's vehicle. Yeah, like not in the hire car, <laughs> I'm not taking that Jeep through. But yeah, that'll be coming up next. So stay tuned here on Theme Park World. Wide. Oh, yeah. We thought, why just go and do a 90 minute dungeon that we can't film anything exactly, of? Exactly. Uh, yeah. You know, when we can go and have a full day at another so park. So, to yeah, that. that's going to be coming up. Bonus Park Serengeti. There you go. We'll nice pair. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got a five minute advertised wait for the Wild Wataban just here. So, yeah, let's go and have a ride on the flume. Looking forward to it. And, yeah, we can't see anything about filming on the restrictions. So, yeah, we'll take you along. And we're off here on the log flume. Yeah, it was about a five minute wait. Making our way around. Bit of temporary scaffolding there by the looks of it. Quite a fast flume, it's nice filter water on here as well, which we like. What we got? Three drops, small one there, a tiny one over there, and then the main one down at the end of the ride. Love the station building for this one too. All these little picnic benches and seating around here, which is very cute. Here we go. Drop number one. Ah! <laughs> it's tiny. I'll tell you what, it's a lovely day today. We've been saying for a while now, when's it going to get better weather? Well, today's the day. Like, it's a lot nicer than it has been, which I'm very pleased about. Hopefully on the US trip, we're going to be in some good weather. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Is it drop number two? Only a small one. No, it's very pretty around this area of the park. I feel like I'm gonna get wet here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's just a light sprinkle view. It's a light sprinkle. Got some big chains around the side. Very fast around the trough on this one. As we make our way up towards the big finale drop. Looks like they've done some TLC on this recently, actually. All the conveyor looks pretty much brand new. Looking after it, which is fantastic to see. But now I would 100% recommend here. After doing Gardaland last year, and then coming here the year after and doing them all within 12 months, this, in my opinion, is the best Merlin theme park out there. Best Merlin theme park in the world, I think. Not like there's loads of competition, but you know, this is definitely better than what we have in the UK, Merlin wise. Look at that, beautiful, let's go. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm not that wet at all. We got a lot wetter on the rapids. I enjoyed that though, it was very good. Well, we've just come off the long flume, how are after that? I'm not wet at all. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, three drops on there, only the one big one though at the end. I do still love a good classic log flume. So many parks have removed them over the past few years. And for me, they're still a staple part of the theme park experience. Oh, not for me. <laughs> oh, they are really. Come on, you love them. Anyway, we're going to continue on showing you some of the other parts of the park we've not yet looked at. We saw Pepper Pig Land from above yesterday on the monorail. But we're going to actually have a walk through the area now and just show you the attractions that are on offer there. So here's a map of the land. And yeah, as you can see, there's 11 different attractions in the area. That isn't rise, but 11 full things to see including the WC which is listed as an attraction there number six but yeah there's a look at the area and here's the entrance to Peppa Pig lands we got on them boats shortly off to the left they're not part of the land but yeah it's very nice around here pigs you reckon so pig pig's got a name Charlotte Peppa well, I didn't know which one it was uh, is it Peppa that is Peppa and George Peppa and George just over there Charlotte's the experts yeah you got a small Peppa Pig shop just over on the left there you can go inside the house and yeah you've got the meet and greets around here it's a nice area it's a lot better than the one at Gardaland photo op you've also got Peppa's boots farts just over here which I think means boats nice little spinning boat ride I do like the music around here it's very colourful as well which is what you want for a family area. And much like Portland's Park, you've got their version of George's Dinosaur Ride just here. Yeah, there you go. You can see the name of the attraction. I won't try and pronounce it. Yeah, here's a look at the ride coming round. Lovely area. Nicely landscaped as well, which is really good. Lots of photo opportunities. Bit of construction going on. What is it with Peppa Pig and construction going on? It's the is same. They're digging but... up the road. Oh, is that, is that what they do? I don't know. Yeah, the same group of people digging ah, up the road. Ah, people, the pigs, Charlotte. No, they're not. They're not pigs. Are oh, they not? Oh, That's they? a bull and a rhino. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't have a clue. You know a lot about it. I think Charlotte secretly watches it like when I'm asleep or something. But yeah, here's a look at the little car ride that you've got. It's actually a small little train. You can just see it over there. In fact, we'll get a better view around here. Is that Grandpa Pig, That's is it? Grandpa Pig. Worth pointing out, it's not that busy really in the land, like short queues. And then you've got the balloon ride over at the back there too. And that is Peppa Pig Land. It's a nice area. It's well looked after. It looks a lot more like the one at Pulton's this yeah, around does. here. I think because you've got a lot of pretty landscaping and the one at Gardaland's kind of just thrown in right next to the entrance of the park. This one just fits in very nicely here. It's a very nice area, Peppa Pig Land. Yeah, it's much bigger than the one at Garda Land. Very nice. You know, just back down here by the entrance to the park. Back in the day, there used to be a teacup through there. I believe it's now the one that operates at Legendia in Poland. And yeah, it used to be in the middle. And yeah, that whole section of the entrance area is just fenced off. It's a shame because there's some really nice buildings back there. I'd love to see them open that up again in the future. We're just going to have a go on this double deck carousel around here now. Beautiful entrance, all these German buildings. Very nice. Well, here's a look at the carousel. Unfortunately, it's not open at this time of the day. Weird opening hours for this one, 10 till 12, and then four until six. They don't really do the staggered openings and stuff here. So I think this is mainly because of its location, which is down by the entrance. And as you can see, it's not really that busy down here in the middle of the daytime. But yeah, we're gonna have a go on the vintage cars. Just wanted to show you that a bit closer though, because it's very pretty. Here we are, going on to the vintage cars. Walk on, nobody around here at all. Old timer farts. 
Where are you taking us to today then, Charlotte? Aldi. Aldi? Well, you can take us to Aldi, a nice German supermarket. Beautiful around here. I do prefer these attractions that haven't got an IP. I just think it's really nice. All painted up. Lovely. Yeah, it's very smooth, isn't it, for its age? The rail's actually quite thick. Some of these you go on, the rail's a lot thinner. And that's probably why this drive's so nice, to be honest. Sometimes you kind of feel them bashing into the corners. Is this one where the steering just fake, is it? Or can you actually steer it into the I, side? I am driving. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, and that's the car park out there as well. See, the car park's right near the main entrance of the park. You know, you don't need to get monorails or big walks or anything like that. It's right next door. Look at that in there. It's like a little carousel. In the actual ride area. Very pretty. Loads of POVs today. I think the variety of attractions here at Hyder Park is great. Really nice mix of things to do. Enjoying your ride? I am. Taking us to all the archways just here. How pretty is this? The flowers and the plants are so nice. It is. It's a great park, it really is. I'm, I'm glad we're seeing it in some nice weather today. We had a little bit of rain yesterday, but... It was more rain than that. Yeah, nothing too major. Like, it's gorgeous. And up next, we're going to go on the relaxing raft ride. The entrance of that's just over there. There's also a pirate ship down here, too. Yaha diddly dee, being a pirate is all right with me. <laughs> Let's go into the pirate area. So this all leads round this side of the lake and up to Crake. But yeah, I'll just go and show you the uh, pirate ship just up here. I'll give this a go, actually. It's a really good one, and it looks very pretty. How gorgeous is that? There's the hotel off to the left. Yeah, let's go and give this a ride. Well, the bounty there just kept on giving. It was about a three-minute cycle. Very much enjoyed that ride. I had a little sit-off in the sun. Oh, very nice. What are we on now then, Charlotte? We're now on Flossfart. <laughs> Flossfart. 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 There you go. <laughs> it's this nice little raft ride. I do love relaxing rides like this in a park. And yeah, this is so lovely here on the lake. Looking out at all the trees, the scenery. Beautiful. It's quite a long ride, this one, as well. Yeah, you can see we're on a, a wire. And then yeah, you've got these big turntable areas and that's where it spins the boat round. Yeah, and no restraints required or anything like that, no size, just sit back, relax, and take it all in. Whoa, watch out guys. That's it, move to the side, living on the edge. <laughs> you can tell they like doing that. Oh, it's gorgeous on here, and there's so many parts of this park that do remind me of Europa Park. Well, the biggest one is this lake area, because, yeah, you've got Josephina's, which is the boat ride on the water, just like this. The fountains, you've got the restaurants at the bottom there, and even the monorail going around at the side. Yeah, it looks very similar to Europa Park. I don't know which one was kind of done like this first. Uh, maybe they were done at a similar sort of time, but, yeah, it really does have that vibe around here which is very nice. I think we're gonna try and catch that show shortly, what we didn't get to see yesterday because the stage was a bit wet. Uh, it was like an acrobat show for 20 minutes. So yeah, I think we're gonna go and catch that shortly in the pirate area. And we'll put in some highlights from that. It's outside, so we'll be able to film it. Lovely that was, nice relaxing ride round. About a 10 minute attraction, beautiful. So many areas just to sit down and relax and just soak up the vibe of the park, which I do very much like. And the music's great as well, with it being like a full IMA score suite. Lots of music. Fountains are lovely there. Oh, very bassy that round here. Yeah, and here's a look at their version of Battle Galleons, effectively, the splash battle. I like how you got the cannonballs all on the side. I don't think we'll give that one a go, Charlotte. I don't fancy getting uh, soaked on a splash battle. It's better weather though today. If it had dark ride scenes or something, we would. But yeah, here's a little look at it just over here. Well, yeah, coming up next, we're going to go and watch this show. 
just around the corner and yeah it's like a variety performance by the looks of it so we're going to go and check that out well we walked past this treat stall when we were here yesterday and we saw these and thought we're gonna have to have some today chocolate covered grapes and strawberries just here five euros and i tell you what these look absolutely delicious so we're just gonna sit here and enjoy the view the coasters just there and eat these oh i did enjoy my chocolate coated strawberries there and i tell you what it's gorgeous out here today now ready for the show it's called time and yeah it's going to be starting in just a moment so i'll have some highlights over the next couple of minutes for you all So, was I expecting to just invite everybody onto the stage? Hey, Charlotte, having a good dance now, though. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as there's going to be any dancing involved, Charlotte's got to be up there. I yeah. actually really like that. I thought that was a really nice touch at the end to get everybody up to do a little bit of a dance. Can you imagine them doing that back home though? Everybody onto the stage where there was smoke, fire effects and yeah, everything. Just just everybody happen. over the barrier onto the stage. I love it. Um, yeah, that was a really good show. It was 25 minutes. Some good acrobats in there. I thought the music was great. Obviously the story was in German. We are in a German theme park after all. Um, but yeah, you could kind of tell what was going on. This time travelling adventure with a very kind of Seralgenon type character. To, um, like Holton Towers Hotel, very similar kind of guy. I thought it was really good. I thought the acts did a really good job and a nice variety as well. Yeah, it was fantastic. They do also have a pirate show that takes place later on on this stage down here as well. But yeah, that was a great piece of entertainment. I, enjoyed it. I want to see something like that back at Holton Towers, a family show that everybody can enjoy, whether you've got kids or not. Like something for everyone, including just adults I as well. I can get up and do a little dance. Yeah, I thought that was a really <laughs> nice was show. Lovely. I loved the storyline. The trampolines were probably the best parts, and the hula hoops were really good. I wish I could do it that good. I know, I'm Quite good <laughs> We've still got a few new bits to show you here at Hyder Park that we haven't shown you over the past couple of days, so we'll head down that way now. Wow. Well, we just had another re ride over on Craig, waited about 10 minutes there. Beautiful day here in Germany. And yeah, as you can see, we've got some more live music going on just over here. This is what we would have liked in the hotel last night. In my opinion, as much as it's lovely having him in the park, it would be great at the hotel, or even better, both here in the afternoon in the park and then on an evening in the hotel bar. 
Hyder Park has got an amazing skyline and that's best appreciated from over here at the other side of the lake. Yeah, this park looks amazing at Halloween. We've actually just seen a little promo shoot taking place on Craig as well. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see this park at night at some point in the future all lit up. Anyway, we've got one more area that we've not shown you in the vlog, and that's just over here on the right-hand side. Yeah, it's got three flat rides now, but it used to have quite a few more. And uh, yeah, when we was on the monorail, you could see it earlier on how they kind of took them out. Yeah, really what they need to do when they've removed these rides is just kind of demolish the buildings and stuff around them so they don't look, you know, you can't see what used to be there. Uh, well, that's the thing. I don't really mind too much that they've took some rides out here because they have got a lot, and we've shown that across the uh, past couple of vlogs. And you've also got to think, Yes, they've removed a few flats from here, but they've replaced them with new flat rides, especially in Peppa Pig, and also as well, How to Train Your Dragon. So it's not too bad, really. No, I suppose if they are going to take stuff out, at least they are replacing them, not taking them out, just leaving nothing. Yeah, that's the thing. What they need to do now um, with these areas is just completely demolish like the air gates, the station, that sort of thing, and then it wouldn't look as bad because coming into this area, it's quite well themed. Like it's all like Mayan themed, Mexican, um, but obviously you can tell that there used to be things down at the back, you know. So it would be much better um, if they could just get rid of them. You don't notice too much from on the ground, but you do when you're on the way swinger in the middle. Um, you get a view looking out over it. They've got a break dance down here though. So yeah, going to give that a go now. Put in a bit of off-ride footage for you. And just before I show you that off-ride footage actually, if I put the camera over the fence here, yeah, you can get a bit of a view looking out at where there was a flat ride there before. And this is the case in a few places around here. And yeah, it's all quite visible really when you're around this area. So ideally replace them, um, but there is a lot of rides at this park anyway. So I think for me, um, they've got quite a lot of flats as it is. Uh, I would just kind of rip out all around the side here um, and then put some new planting in so you can't see um, where there used to be flats. Well, the braid dance was awesome. Great cycle on there. And yeah, here's a look at the four flat rides that are no longer part of this area. Your cage is still in over there. Yeah, look at that. All of this just abandoned now. You can't see it from on the ground that well, but yeah, not great when you look at it from up here. Just needs demolition. Gonna have a ride on Magic just here now as well. I do like how the simple names, the actual models of the rides, Magic and also Breakdance. <laughs> Surprised that's not called Wave Swinger in the middle. Just some of the three rides that are operational down in the flat ride corner there. Yeah, so originally there used to be seven in that area. Crazy, I can't isn't it? That there used to be that many, but they really need to look into sorting out the areas where the flat rides have been removed. Hundred percent. And personally, I don't actually think they need replacing. Weird saying that. Uh, what I would do is just remove them areas at the back. If they were going to put any new flat rides in, I'd put them in other areas around the park. But even that, they have kind of done that with Peppa Pig and How to Train Your Dragon. So it's so, one of them, really. Yes, they took stuff out, but they have replaced it. But they just need to tidy those areas up. Yeah, the areas that aren't in use anymore completely demolished them, put some nice planting in for the wildlife and happy days. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, we're coming towards the end of this vlog. We've had another action-packed day. Lots more on-ride POVs today as well with a lot of the rides that we've yeah, been we on. Yeah, we managed to take you all along with us. Yeah, it's been fantastic. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get some more re-rides in now. We've got about two and a half hours to go until ride close. Get some more re-rides in here at Hyder Park. So I'll put in a few more off-ride shots of some of the bigger coasters and then we'll wrap up the vlog.
you've just seen some more off-ride footage of some of the bigger rides here at Hyder Park Resort. We've done loads more re-rides there this afternoon, which has been amazing. Um, we've been on Crake again, Colossus, we did Big Loop, Scream, Flugged at a Moaning. We've done so many rides in two days here. We have done so much today that we didn't do in the day one vlog mm. and loads of extra rides as well. It's been fantastic. I really enjoy going on some of the smaller stuff today, like the boat ride there, just behind us. <laughs> uh, along with that as well, we did the other monorail, which is fantastic, the train, we did the uh, power coaster which is fantastic the rapids, the long yeah blues. Uh, you know we have more povs today as well which has been fantastic but overall i think this is an amazing park um, i really do like it here it's got so much charm with all the german buildings and other themed areas and um, the transylvania area is fantastic my biggest thing what they need to do here in the future is literally just them areas where they took out rise just completely remove that space so you can't see the messy part really like the park does so well with all the planting around the rest of the park what they could do is put some nice planting in those areas because it doesn't look great yeah definitely because it doesn't even really need replacements putting on there initially because they have got a lot of rides at this park that's the thing i love variety in flats but they have got that here you know they've got the pirate ship they've got the way swinger they've got a break dance you know they've got a great variety here that much so i don't say this about many parks but i don't really know what i would do here next like I it's think tough maybe you know like a water coaster would go down well. yeah or a, a big signature coaster because i mean i know they've got some good coasters here um, and colossus is amazing our favorite ride here Love but it's still not like a world-class oh my god or even a european best ride no, is it i agree they need like a really big like standout coaster a big hyper coaster or something would be great here i mean i imagine they can build pretty much as high as they want here they're in the middle of nowhere uh, but i love wood seeing what they do in the future we'll definitely come back when they have their next big investment whenever that will be and uh, thanks for joining us here Thank on theme park worldwide great park definitely recommend it doesn't feel like a merlin park in places but does in others um but you know what we've had a great time and the hotel was fantastic yeah, too. I really enjoyed the hotel it was a lovely stay well originally we were just gonna have a mini review coming up next from the hamburg dungeon but we decided instead of doing that we're off for a full day at serengeti park oh this place looks so good it looks a bit like west Midlands safari park so we're gonna go and check it out yeah it's got lots of fun fair rides a couple of coasters and so much more so that's gonna be coming up tomorrow full vlog from there and it's gonna be awesome but from hyder park resort that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and, and keep, keep on riding. riding see you tomorrow